This is Akashwani, the news read by Morgan Bagra. President Draupadi Murmu embarked on a three-nation visit to Algeria, Mauritania and Malawi this morning. This is the first ever visit by a president of India to the three African nations and comes a year after the African Union was made a permanent member of the G20 group during India's presidency. During her visit, the president will hold bilateral meetings and interact with Indian diaspora. The president is scheduled to reach the Algiers around 9 p.m. India time. During the three-day visit in Algeria, President Draupadi Murmu will hold bilateral meetings with the president of People Democratic Republic of Algeria, Abdel Majid Tebon and other major leaders. The president will also visit important cultural and historical sites of Algeria like Makam Ikahid, the Martyrs Memorial, where she will be laying the wreath. The president will also visit the Roman ruins, mausoleum and Hama Garden. President is scheduled to address the India-Algeria Economic Forum. On the second leg of the visit, President Draupadi Murmu will visit Mauritania on 16th and in the final leg of her visit, President will visit Malawi from 17th to 19th. During the visit to these countries, the President is scheduled to hold bilateral meetings with the leadership and she will also interact with key trade and industry leaders and the Indian diaspora. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has lauded the completion of three years of PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan, stating that the scheme has emerged as a transformative initiative in revolutionizing India's infrastructure. In a social media post, Mr. Modi said that Gati Shakti has significantly enhanced multimodal connectivity, driving faster and more efficient development across sections. He added that the seamless interaction of various stakeholders has led to boosting logistics, reducing delays and creating new opportunities for several people. The Prime Minister also said that with Gati Shakti, the country is aiding speed to fulfill the vision of Viksib Bharat and it will encourage progress, entrepreneurship and innovation. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla is leading a parliamentary delegation to the 149th Assembly of the Inter-Parliamentary Union scheduled to be held in Geneva beginning today. In a social media post, Mr. Birla said that during his visit, he will address the Assembly on the theme Harnessing Science, Technology and Innovation for a More Peaceful and Sustainable Future. The Assembly will continue till the 17th of this month. Mr. Birla will participate in the meetings of the IPU's Governing Council and will meet the Indian diaspora in Geneva tomorrow. Besides, he will also meet his counterparts from other parliaments on the sidelines of the Assembly. The delegation comprises Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman Harivansh Singh, Secretary General of both the Houses and various other members of Parliament. Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk has announced plans to temporarily suspend the right to apply for asylum. The measure comes as a part of a new governmental strategy which is aimed at drastically decreasing irregular migration and all the negative consequences that it brings to the country. During a speech at a political convention in Warsaw yesterday, Prime Minister Tusk emphasized the need for European recognition of Poland's decision, explaining that the right to asylum is being exploited by hostile nations and human traffickers. He said, Poland must regain full control over who enters the country, assuring that the government will minimize illegal migration. Mr. Tusk also stressed that Poland will not adopt any EU policies that jeopardize its security. He further emphasized the importance of integration for those wishing to stay in Poland long term, citing Germany's past failure to prioritize this and its migration policy. An earthquake of 4.2 magnitude on the Richter scale jolted parts of central Assam this morning. There are no reports of any casualty or damages to property so far. The epicenter of the earthquake was in Udalguri district of the northern bank of the Brahmaputra River. Another moderate earthquake measuring 4.3 magnitude struck the Doda district of Jammu and Kashmir early this morning. The epicenter of the earthquake was Gundo. Amid the escalating tensions in West Asia, permanent mission of India to United Nations said that India as a major troop contributing country aligns itself fully with the joint statement issued by the 34 United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar. Thank you.